All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. So here is what we are doing today. Can you spot the difference between what was there and what wasn't there? That's right, we are going ahead and installing a TRD Pro grill with TSS Garnish. If this is something you guys are really, really interested in, please go ahead and uh, stay tuned. Hey, what's up, everybody? So today on the channel, we've got a little bit of a different uh, mod we're gonna go ahead and install. So uh, if you've been following along, we've got the lift on here, the six inch lift with max tracks and blocks in the back, RC all around and um, it's been driving great. I do have a little bit of carry bearing shake, so I do have a video coming up about how to sort of get around that. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and work on something in the meantime while I'm working on the carrier bearing and a few other things. So I figured, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's replace the grill today. So let me show you what we're getting into. So here is our TRD Pro knockoff grill. Um, I think it's gonna look pretty nice on here. Uh, I've, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but so these little letters right here, they individually go on. So as you can see here, I had to utilize screws to get them on. Um, we do have the TSS garnish. It didn't come with this guy, but um, I got this from a friend. He decided not to run it. He's gonna run something else. So I was able to get this from him for a pretty sweet deal. I had to pick up the new garnish. It's gonna sit here on eBay for like $11. So that was fine. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pop this uh, OEM one off. We're gonna pop this guy on. We're gonna add the garnish. And I'm gonna walk you through the process that it takes to go ahead and do that. So sit back, relax, grab yourself your favorite beverage and stay tuned. All right, so as we can see here, we have um, the TSS garnish is actually sitting behind this emblem right here. So in order to get to it, and in order to swap out the new grill, we gotta need to go ahead and take this guy off. So this is pretty simple. So what we have right here is we've got two 10 mil bolts, one there, one there. We also have some push pins that we're gonna go ahead and pull up. So I can probably do it with my fingernails, but I'm gonna use a screwdriver and pull it up just like so. We have the TSS garnish that's sitting right here. It's the two clips that we need to go ahead and undo. So this is going to be our first one. We're just going to basically, look, I can almost do it with my fingers. You squeeze it and it pops through just like so. Same thing with this guy right here. Squeeze it, it pops through like so. Now those guys are loose. So let's go ahead and get these pins out, these bolts off. And when you're done with that, it actually just pulls straight all the way out. There's a bunch of little little clips that run all the way around here just like so. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get you back in the tripod and I'll show you what we're working on. All right, so we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna pop it right in here, lift this up. Now, when you do this, it's kind of hard to tell. You wanna hold onto it with your hand and pull out. So if you look right here, you've got this little plunger tab that goes up and down. See how it sits right there? We wanna make sure that this stays loose and that when we go back into that hole, we actually hold it like so, push it in, and then go ahead and push this down. That way it locks in. You don't end up breaking these thin little plastic keys that they have right here. So that's one. And here's the other one. Just, I just do a little spinning motion just like that and then it lifts up just like so. So next we have these 10 mil bolts, so. Just like that. And the same one right here. And comes off just like so. So there's a clip right here we need to take off. So as you can see, there's this little piece right here we wanna go ahead and push down just like so. And then this guy, you just literally grab it and give it a gentle yank clips here and it comes off just like that all right so the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to remove the grill from this outside shroud and there's a couple different ways things we need to do first number one there are these bolts here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's ten of them that we want to go ahead and pull off once we're done doing that then we have these little these little tabs right here that we want to go ahead and squeeze and pull those off as well. And this is our TSS um, Toyo safety sensor. We wanna go ahead and pull that off. So that's a 10 mil here and a Phillips head here. We're gonna go ahead and end up pulling that guy off first. All right, so now that all that's done, if you pay attention right here, the next thing we wanna go ahead and do is push these cl little clips in right here. And we just wanna bend them so that they pop out very, very easily. You notice that there's one for the chrome surround and then there's one for the actual grill itself. So what we wanna go ahead and do is let all those go guys go as well. There we go. 
you got one you just want to end up going all the way around make sure you get all of them all right and there we go they are separated you'll notice that i wasn't able to get this guy separated just yet because he's still connected there so i'm going to pull this one off right now get this out from under here here and then we'll go ahead and we'll finish separating it all right so we got that guy off there's these little clips right here you kind of gotta grab a pair of needle nose and squeeze a little bit it's the same way we're gonna get these guys off and get this guy off as well also while you're doing this you want to go ahead and pull these out you're gonna need these when they go into the new grill so that you can bolt everything back down so right now see if i can get in here pull this guy off i'm gonna pull the tab off right here pull this front tab off right here so that i can reach that and that's really really easy it's just got these similar little clip bolts these little clips that you just kind of just you know wedge in there and push down and there we go pops out just like so and now i can flip this over and i can get to this one that's sitting right there and what i'm going to do take a pair of needle nose squeeze and pull there we go it comes right out let's go ahead and let's get out the new grill and let's start reassembling this back together all right everybody so as you can see right here first thing i need to go ahead and do as i take all these guys off is i need to remove this outer garnish and it's really really simple you pretty much just take a tool it'll allow you to get up, up underneath here it pops off just like that so we want to pull that off now what we're going to do is going to pop these tabs in like so and voila sucker pops off just like that remember we had these earlier we're going to slide these guys in then this one as well we're just going to slide them in and so there we go so we are good we are in we are ready to go so now what we want to go ahead and do we want to take our bolts all right so now that that is all done we need to go ahead and start thinking about how we're going to run our wires um again since this is a non-factory grill for the most part, it's it's not gonna really go ahead and fit in any spot. So what we'll end up doing is when it's time to go ahead and put this together, I'll end up zip tying these stay and they won't move around too much. And then we'll end up putting the clips back in here in this guy as well. So right now what we wanna do is put our garnish on. And here's our garnish. It's a fairly simple kit. It comes to, with its own push pins too, as you can see. So what we wanna do is pull those off. And the way that this guy goes in, if you remember, there's these clips here, go ahead and go in right there. And then these bolts right here, go ahead and sit right in here. So if you just lift it up like so, it pretty much sits nice and flush, which is exactly what we want. All right, since these clips are in right here, this guy's in like so, I'm pretty much I'm good with it. It doesn't really slide out all that much. It's nice and tight. So what we can do is take this guy, Pull them off like so, and voila, there we go. And flip this guy around like so. So we're lay them in here. We're just gonna sort of line up all these clips, all right? And they line up pretty good from what I've read. This kit fits pretty good. them over to make sure that they're all in and there we go it's all in looks pretty good i got some stuff on here i got to clean up because it touched things on here that were dirty but other than that let's go ahead and uh let's get this guy installed we've got all these clips right here that need to go ahead and go into all these little spots right here all the way around so when we do this we want to do a really good lineup all right we're in restart our assembly with our items so remember with these guys with these push pins you want to go ahead and hold it like so and you want to push it in get it all the way seated and then push now it's in there same thing with this one here you want to hold it like so i'm going to line this guy up push it in like that and then push down we've got our 10 mil bolts 
that need to go ahead and go in here and here, right? Okay, so now we've got our wiring, and if you remember correctly, we had two spots on here that we needed to be able to work with. So here we go, so we've got this guy, so we're gonna slide this sucker in. Wait till you hear the click. We're then gonna go ahead and take this line right here, pop it there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy and put him here. So if you look, I put one in there, I put one in there. Now we've got this extra wiring sitting in here that I wanna go ahead and find a place to put. All right, everybody, so we're in. I popped a little bit of a zip tie right here to hold this, and I left, kept it a little bit loose so that this was okay. This guy's connected back in. This guy's connected back in. And take a look at how it looks. Looks fantastic. Now, what I have coming up for this guy right now is I've got some Raptor lights that I'm going to be getting here soon. Um, I also went ahead and found someone who does decals of the Crush Blue Metallic. We're going to end up popping those guys on here. And that's it, man. That's our grill. That thing looks fantastic. I can't wait to add those lights in. Uh, if you guys like this kind of comment, content, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this kit and how it all works, please go ahead and let me know down below. Uh, and as always, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Mm -hmm.